Hey, good morning, guys. Um, this is a uh, special day. Um, this past weekend, um, I uh, went to see a good friend from school and um, a bit of a story uh, to this car is that um, he lives down in Austin, Texas. Um, and or did uh live downtown um kind of one of those high-rise apartments there and during covid he was kind of locked in um to his building and uh you know for a long time and i i sent him this um just to give him something to do uh i thought i I didn't think, he, he never told me he was into RC cars or anything, but I thought, well, you know, who wouldn't want to tear into something like this? Um, and um, along with some other things, you know, some video games, stuff like that, which he might have actually used. But anyways, um, I think literally that's been over two years ago. And I think I was there to visit a, a time a time or two sorry about that um and i didn't i didn't give any thought to it until maybe the last time when i saw the car the box you know up on a shelf in in his living room or whatever i was like dude what did you how much of the car did you build and he smiled and he's just like uh i thought he said he did some of the motor or the the, the gearbox or something but um yeah uh, essentially he took the, the lid off, looked around, started thinking about, uh, what, what to do for radio equipment and put the lid back on. And that was that. And so anyways, I'm like, dude, look, I got to build that car. Um, if you don't mind, <laughs> I, and I hate to do this, man, I feel really bad about it, but I'm just... I basically was like, I'll, I'll even buy it from you. Um, of course he insisted that I not buy it from him, but anyhow, we got it back yesterday. Um, just so excited. Uh, I had, I had one of these built, um, several years ago now. And, um, and, uh, sorry, I know this is kind of boring, but, um, but I never drove it, never, never tried it out, never had electronics in it. And, uh, hopefully that will change this time um you guys know this car it's been around um this is their front wheel drive uh and to me this thing always looked like it belonged right there with you know the ultima and the optimas and and whatever like the, the style is all the same this is absolutely a relative of you know a cousin of those two cars series of cars so um you know even shares wheels tires uh with some of the mids um yeah the box is in pretty decent shape for how old this sucker is and i got this back when i was trying to collect all the optima kits in box and this was just kind of an oddball that I didn't sell off with the with the others, um, but again, in my opinion, this sort of belongs right there with them. Um, get the box off. In fairness to Pete, he had you know there were signs he had at least opened the car, so I put the uh, the blister packaging sort of back like it, you know. Well, how I think it might should go. We got the manual stickers. Um, dude, I'm so excited to build this car body. Um, I think this looks very similar to the Turbo Ultima body, but I, I could be mistaken. Which I need a Turbo Ultima body, but I kind of need a Maxima body. Maxim body. Did I call it a Maxima earlier? Uh, yeah, this is the same wheel set you'd see, um, with, uh, probably, well, 
Now with the mids that had these style wheels, you might have gotten only narrow fronts. So I, I don't know if that's different, uh, if it's really different or, or what. Um, the old chassis and some gears. All right, we got the drive washers. Yummy, new, um, what are these called? OT88s or something? I can't, I can never remember. Um, but anyways, those are just gorgeous and they're all the same width. Got the old, uh, other crap motor. ES, not ESC, mechanical speed control. Um, it does come with just regular, uh, dog bones up front. I think a pretty decent upgrade for something like this would be some universals, obviously. Um, the other, you know, mild bummer, which might slow me down as far as the build goes, is it comes with, um, full bushings throughout. There's some diff parts and, and bushings, uh, really would rather wait and get some a bearing kit for this before start assembling it um yeah just hardware and now uh that's that upper upper chassis plate in there motor mount or some motor guard or spurred gear cover right. um i did see a little a little paper indicating that uh, it says Kyosho has produced a strengthened A-arm suspension set which has been inserted separately in this kit. When you build your kit, please use these new A-arms instead of the ones packaged in parts bag MX-6. Now, I, I'm guessing that's these are the new ones. Um, yeah, because you can I have to take a closer look at those. Um, these don't look particularly more beefcake than the others, but any, anyway. Um, so yeah, I won't go on much longer here. Um, I'm just damn excited to finally have this car uh, and get get a chance to uh, put it together. Um, we'll definitely get a little run out of it and then i may have a plan for what to do next with it we'll see and uh yeah that's that's about it so um let me know if there's anything you guys got any questions about it or want to see anything in particular i don't build well on camera because i can't build and talk at the same time and uh, I can barely talk, you know, only talk. <laughs> so much less try to do something and, and think about what I'm saying. So anyhow, maybe uh, maybe I'll build a little bit, make a video at some point, you know, before I get all the body done and electronics in it. Um, and we'll, we'll go from there. All right, so I hope you guys have a good week and uh, I'll talk to you soon.